Hey everyone, Fear Crawler here. Welcome to the video. I hope you're all having an extra special Halloween today. I'm excited about it, and I certainly hope you are as well. And for those of you going out trick-or-treating today, I definitely hope that the weather's cooperating. So without any further delay, guys, enjoy this special Halloween treat from me to you. My wife has been holding on to our son's Halloween costume for some odd reason. He isn't a child or anything. I mean, he's 20 years old. And I've been finding her behavior very confusing the last few days. She's been rather distant lately, and I haven't had the courage to really go up and ask her why she's acting so strange. She's been rather irritable. But to be honest, our marriage had been going downhill the last couple of years. All marriages go a bit dim after a while. And after you have kids and you've spent a good portion of your life living with someone, you start finding it hard to even have a conversation. At least we haven't divorced. With my wife going through her weird mood swings, I've been feeling rather nostalgic. It could be the middle age thing, but I've been looking back at old pictures with me and my friends when we were younger. As Halloween draws nearer, she's been acting more erratic. Another reason why I've been looking back at the past. I secretly kept every picture of me and my friends when we were all young men and we used to travel a lot. This was, of course, before we all got married and had kids. There was a picture of all of us on a beach in Thailand. If I remember correctly, it was our first time there, and it was a wonderful holiday. Blue skies, sunny days, clear water, and great food. I wish I could go back to those days. My favorite photo was when I asked a stranger to take a picture of all of us on the beach with our drinks in our hands. But when I was looking back at the picture, a sudden shock had hit me. The picture looked different. I'm not talking about aging because my friends and I have all clearly aged since then. But the background was different. I remember when the picture was being taken, it was absolutely amazing. Everything was perfect. The picture should have shown me and my friends on the beach with an amazing sun, blue skies and the water calmly moving. It was now showing a storm, and my friends and I were all running off. I don't remember any storm happening in Thailand when we were on vacation. I remembered all of us enjoying our trip to Thailand, and whenever me and my friends would catch up occasionally at a restaurant, they'd all say positive things about it as well. Confused, I started phoning all of my friends that were on the vacation with me, and I told them how the picture that was taken with us on the beach had looked different. I was surprised when all of my friends who went on the trip to Thailand said what a terrible experience they had. How random weather and storms had brewed all over Thailand. None of this made sense because I didn't remember our holiday being like that. I hung up the phone and searched through the pictures again. I found another photo of me and my friends from a different trip we had taken. This trip came after Thailand and as I remembered, none of us enjoyed it. On this particular trip, we couldn't do much because storms and tornadoes had pretty much ruined our holiday. I even remembered taking pictures of the storms, but looking at the photographs now, it didn't show any storms. The photo appeared to show a delightful day, the type of day where the cold didn't bother anyone, and the snow was just amazing. When I spoke with my friends about the second holiday we took after Thailand, they were all saying just how much they loved it, but I didn't remember it happening that way. I was starting to think there was something wrong with me. I went down to talk with my wife, but I could see she clearly wasn't in the mood to talk. She was hugging our son's Halloween costume. It was the one he had worn last Halloween to a costume party where he got really drunk. I had to pick him up and he puked all over my car. I tried taking our son's Halloween costume from her hands, but she fought back and told me to get away from her. I left the room and went back to search through more photos. This time I was looking back at old family photos. I sometimes miss when my children were babies. It was very hard being a father at first, and it did take some time to adjust. The first photo I looked at was when my son and daughter were just small children. It was a sunny day and both my kids were playing in the back garden. It was a happy moment for all of us, but something about the picture wasn't agreeing with my memory. 
The picture should have shown my two kids smiling at the camera, as well as my wife in the background holding up four lemonades. At least that was how I had remembered it. But the picture showed both of my kids running off, because a snowstorm had brewed in the middle of summer, and snow could be seen. I don't remember that day being like that. For me, it was just a perfect happy day. I went into my daughter's room to talk to her about the picture, and ask her what she remembered about that day. But when she looked at her older brother in the photograph as a child, she started crying. I didn't really understand what she was crying about, because their relationship had always been very civil. I asked my daughter about that day, and she said she remembered a random strange cold storm brewing over the hot summer day. But my memory of it was somehow different. I went back to talk to my wife. She was just staring at nothing and still holding on to our son's Halloween costume. She slowly let go of the costume and looked at the picture I showed her of the cold storm brewing on the hot summer day, with both our kids in the picture running off before the snow touched them. She smiled a little, focusing mainly on the image of our son as a child. When I calmly asked her what she remembered about that day, her response exactly matched what my daughter had said. But I was honest with her about how I had remembered that day. I told her that I had remembered it being an amazing summer day, where both of our kids played in the small-sized pool, burgers being cooked on the barbecue, and my wife's amazing fresh lemonade. She hugged me and gave me back the picture, and then went right back to holding our son's Halloween costume. I decided to go back up to my room and finish reading a book I had just started. But when I got into my room, the book wasn't there. In its place was the sequel, and not the first version. I went back to the library to give back the sequel version for the original one, but the library told me that I had already read the first version, and that I had already returned that book and checked out the second book. I told her that was impossible. But then she showed me the CCTV footage of me giving back the first book and trading it in for the second one. I didn't even remember finishing the first book. I felt extremely off and I considered going to the doctor, but I didn't feel ill, at least not ill enough to see a doctor anyway. And besides, doctors these days don't have the patience to deal with people who think or feel they might have something wrong with them. I couldn't stop thinking about the pictures and why everyone had remembered them so differently. That night I was struggling to sleep. I kept on feeling like an idiot for returning a book I hadn't even read yet, but I didn't remember doing anything like that. But it was those old photographs that were worrying me the most. I went online to see if I could find someone else who had been maybe experiencing the same things I had. One thing I love about the internet is how it's made the world more connected and maybe I could find someone on the other side of the world who had been dealing with the same problem. That feeling of being alone is the worst feeling ever. The downside of the internet being that it's so large, you'll have many people who consider themselves to be experts, and it makes it hard to distinguish between who is correct and who's just talking absolute crap. I couldn't find much on what I was experiencing, but periodically I would find myself deep into a conversation on some forum which I didn't remember reading. I was also having trouble remembering why I had started reading. I could also hear my wife arguing in the background with my daughter about what we were going to be doing on Halloween as a family. Halloween was always our most loved celebration. We even preferred it over Christmas. But I could hear my wife saying that she was against celebrating Halloween this year for some odd reason. I kept on with my internet search trying to find someone else experiencing the same symptoms I was and whether this was something I really needed to go see a doctor for. I was starting to think I was exhibiting symptoms of dementia, or maybe Parkinson's disease. But then another thought came to me. When I was looking back at the pictures, the thing that was different in them was never the people, but the weather. I changed my search on the internet from memory problems and illness to changes in backgrounds and photographs, but after an exhaustive search, I couldn't find anything. I started searching through global warming forums and other weather-related forums to find people who may have had the same experience as I had had with weather changing in photographs. 
During my search, I could hear my wife downstairs trashing the Halloween costumes and decorations. I had to go down and physically restrain her because she was going nuts. I shouted at her to explain what was going on and what she thought she was doing, and she just shouted back at me, asking me how I could possibly be so calm and not show any emotion like she had been showing. I had no idea what she was going on about. I went to sleep on the couch. When I got up, I saw that I had received a reply in one of the forums I had posted in. It was from a professor who had taught at a university. He had done studies on weather and geography, as well as global warming. I don't really want to go into detail about exactly who he is, but I was glad I managed to get a reply from someone as educated as him. I was able to meet with him in his office a couple of days later, and he told me that he himself had been experiencing the exact same symptoms I had been experiencing. He was straight with me about his explanation about what we were both experiencing, but it sounded completely absurd. He had been drinking a bit, but his mind still seemed sharp. And to be honest, even though I don't drink, during the conversation I started to feel like I could use one myself. As I sat and talked with the professor, I started thinking about what simple times they used to be back in the old days, and I realized that the wisdom my generation had been given was now completely useless trying to explain it in the most logical way that he could. The professor told me that the global weather of the 21st century was changing so rapidly that it was not only impacting the global weather of the future, but it was also affecting the global weather of the past. This would explain why the weather in the background of the photos looked differently than how I had remembered. He handed me a book-sized stack of papers. It was an unpublished article he had written about the strange effects of 21st century global warming. By the time I read to part 20, I couldn't even remember reading parts 1 through 19. Apparently I was sitting in his office for hours and hours just reading the article, but it only felt like I had been sitting there for less than an hour. These strange conflicting memories were caused by changes in the weather. Apparently. 99% of the world population won't even notice, but somehow, that small 1% like the professor and myself do notice, and we're aware of the changes. If the weather changes were now affecting the past, it meant that these changes were also affecting the future. It was a lot to take in. I went back home and my wife was still trashing the Halloween decorations, as well as our son's costume. I asked her why she was acting this way, and she asked me the same thing. She asked me about the Halloween party our son went to last year, and I explained to her how he had gotten drunk and puked all over my car. But it was a great night, though. Great night? Are you kidding me right now? This is not something you joke about, she shouted at me. She told me that last Halloween, a terrible random storm had come over. There was flooding, snow, and even a tornado that wrecked a lot of people's homes and ruined their way of life. Our son was caught in the storm and died, and I had apparently found his body. But I didn't remember any of that happening. She even told me where his body was buried. I didn't believe her, so I went to check the cemetery. And it was true. I now understood why my wife was acting so strange, and why she couldn't let go of our son's Halloween costume. If you can't remember a random storm occurring last Halloween, well, maybe that's because the past has been changed again. Wait just a darn second there, Greta Thunberg. Are you trying to tell me, Fear Crawler, that global warming is affecting the weather? Although that might explain why it's always raining at the end of all my videos. And the last time I checked outside, it was still snowing. You know what? I'm suddenly convinced that global warming is a real issue. In fact, I think in my most William Shatner of ways, I must do something about it. No!
kommt.